How's it going guys? FSOE Gaming here. Today we're going to be working on my AK Stubby Killer M4. If you've seen my last video, me playing with this gun at Cold Red Airsoft Park in California, it's shooting about 33 rounds per second at 325 FPS. And to achieve those that rate of fire, it's using an ASG Infinity Motor and 12 to 1 SHS gears, a pruned V2 hybrid MOSFET. And I'm trying to go for more of a sleeper build, so I didn't put any cool triggers or anything inside. I'm just trying to keep a look nice small and clean and just a really nice all-in-all all cqb gun the range of this gun is actually really good too although it is using the stock hop-up unit stock in and barrel the whole setup in the front assembly is stock but it shoots fantastic so today we're gonna be putting it in shs dsg gear some nice little goodie parts to make sure it's nice and reliable and it lasts as long as it can be and let's hop right into this video guys let's go all right to show the parts we've got a e-bike m150 regular pitch spring King Arms, 9mm Ballberry bushings, Matrix 0 0.1, 0 0.2 shims to shim the gearbox. The SHS DSG dual sector gear with a tapper plate that is not trimmed. Rocket Airsoft 18 to 1 to go along with the DSG. Then we got the air assembly. I'm a patient, I put it together a while back ago. It's a Schlong cylinder, full cylinder. It's a heat resistant. Uh, we got the Max piston head right here with a nice little rubber padding for the gearbox and we got the shs nozzle to go along with it already pre-lubed and then we got a full metal rack piston so let's get on to the build Alrighty, this is the stock hop-up setting as you see it still has this little the little uh little tensioner spring right there to kind of push it into the gearbox it has a metal hop-up unit which is always kind of nice and it has a brass inner barrel don't know the size on it probably like 190 millimeter inner barrel but the one thing i do like about this thing it is a pretty good system alone stock so if you're gonna buy this gun to just run stock it's not a bad gun i mean it has a pretty good bucking as you can see how it's flat on the top right there this thing is hopping 0.25s no problem at all so if you do get this gun you know expect some good accuracy with this thing Alrighty, as you guys can see, we got the gearbox opened up. We got the prune V2 hybrid, the 12 to 1 steel gear ratios, a half metal rack steel piston, a full cylinder to try to utilize as much FPS as we can, and the stock A and K uh, piston head, air nozzle, and tap a plate. So as you guys can see, the, the build is relatively pretty neutral, but with good shimming and a good job, you can still achieve pretty high RPS. Like I'm I'm pulling 33 RPS on the mic on the graph. And we got this, uh, the I believe the Classic Army Infinity Boost Custom 30K. I believe this is a 22 TPA motor, so it's very torquey. And it's really good for my semi-auto response, which in California, in the fields that I play in, it's mostly just semi-auto semi only. So as you can see, the gearbox is holding up really good. It is a QD gearbox. So let's start putting all the new internals inside this gun. Let's go. Let's go, guys. All right. So I just shimmed the bevel gear to the pinion gear. And now what I'm doing here is just trying to see how these gears mesh up. So I have two shims on the on the uh, spur gear right now just to see kind of how it looks. And right now it's actually looking pretty good. It's not sitting on top. The bevel gear is not sitting on top of the spur gear, but it does have just a little bit of room. So this is the one thing with shimming. It's a lot of trial and error to get it right. Um, it's definitely something that takes a good ear and a good eye to kind of get it down. But you know, if you guys are ever going to want to tackle to do something like this, there's plenty of videos on there. Like, um, I personally watched it's uh, the real deal aerosol guy, I like him a lot. You know, he's actually he popped up on one of my shorts one day, and I'm subscribed to him. I like him a lot, he's a cool guy, you know, he makes great aerosol quality stuff. So, you can always look at him, ASD Kilo. Uh, they make some great tutorials on shimming your gearboxes. That's what I watched when I was a little kid, and that's pretty much what really got me into teching. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just shimming the gears, trying to make sure they sound good, buttery smooth, and they make a good ass sound, baby. There we go. Alrighty. So as you can see, we got the gears in there. It shimmed pretty good, as best as I can get it right now. Uh, as you can see. I'm pretty much trying to time the tap of blades. As you can see, I have it on the last tooth right there. And on the last tooth in conjunction, it's right there. That's where this is gonna pull back the tap of plate to allow the BBs to feed. So about right there is I'm gonna mark it. I'm gonna give it a little cut. And hopefully it works. If it doesn't, 
good thing is i got like 16 more type of plates i can mess around with so let's see i'm gonna cut it and hopefully everything works after that what's up guys so as you can see i cut the type of plate what i usually do i cut it and then i take a spoon burn it and then i take this and i put it over the super hot spoon and i kind of smooth it out so all the frayed parts and the cracks or a little i always feel like it restrengthens it back up because all the little parts that got cut off you know now they're loose you melt them back together they bind back together and they harden they harden just like the normal plastic as you guys can see here compared to the stock ak type of plate if i just hold it like this you guys can see that i took off a a little bit of a fin right there in hopes that when this shoots and gets pulled back you know once it finishes cycle this part will slide forward just in time for the other one to catch it bring it fully back and let it go and vice versa vice versa you know so hopefully it feeds good and the fps is good if it's not i have of course the stock a k one which is also good really flexible too and then i also have like 10 other ones i can always kind of mess around with and just get get the perfect one so hopefully this all works sorry guys the audio got messed up right here but pretty much what i'm explaining right now is that i got everything installed i got the tap plate timed and installed and i also aob corrected the piston and cylinder head with a one-third swivel pad and then i also used a little tiny washer to kind of push the piston head you know a little bit farther out so uh the the dsg the first tooth will kind of meet on the 12 o'clock position like you want you know and pretty much just doing a quick little overlook make sure everything seems okay before i close it up and test it to shoot and hopefully it worked Alrighty, boys let's hear a rip pull out up Woo, shit. and then with the prune hybrid there we go now our piston is fully released dude and this dsg is pushing 280 fps with 0.25s with this battery and this shitty wiring job because i don't i don't have the tools right now <laughs> it's fucking crazy dude how's it going guys thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it do not forget to like subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions about the gun i just built or about airsoft guns in general also, I do play at Code Red Airsoft Park located in Paris in California. And if you ever wanted to play with me, collab with me, or just hang out, or even have me work on one of your guns, stay subscribed because I do post on the community forums on YouTube when I'm going to head out there. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a wonderful day today.